I've been trying to think of ways to get some more interesting video shots from my CNC because Lord knows CNC can be pretty boring. So I decided to make a camera mount. I decided to use half inch HDPE for this prototype because it machines really well plus it's really easy to tap. So I took some measurements on my Z-axis carriage plate Fired up VCarve Pro and drew up a few parts and this is what I came up with. I made a couple of little mounting plates and a couple of arms and they'll be attached together by drilling and tapping the end of the arms and then using cap screws to uh, attach the mounting plate to the arm. Once I had the two arms mounted it was time to take a quick measurement to see how wide the other pieces would need to be. And then it was up back to VCAR Pro to do a quick drawing and get ready to cut those parts out. These last two parts were just really simple rectangles, so I just programmed them right there at the machine. I also put a .201 hole right in the middle, and then that way I could tap it with a quarter twenty which is what most camera mounts use. After the hole was tapped, I simply added a hex bolt that was quarter twenty by inch and a half long and had a nut on the other end of it and so I could screw it in and it would leave just enough sticking up to uh, mount the camera on. And finally mount the camera to the bracket assembly and then mount the brackets back up to the machine and we're ready to try this thing out. This is the view from my camera sitting on top of a tripod. And this is the view from my little action camera on the new camera mount that I just made. Notice the wavy lines in the uh, video. I'll talk about that here in just a minute. Since my little action camera has an upside down mode, which means you can hang it upside down and it will record video right side up, I decided to flip the bracket over and try mounting the camera at a lower angle. Again, here is the view from the camera that's sitting on the tripod. And here is a view of the little action camera mounted on the underneath side of the camera mount. I really like this view better because I think it's a little bit better camera angle, but I'm still dealing with those pesky wavy lines. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how my little camera mount uh, turned out. It worked pretty good, so I'd have to call that a success. However, I think I'm going to have to give my camera a failing grade because of the, those annoying wavy lines uh, that were in the video. Now, as I understand it, I've been talking with some folks, a lot of these cheap cameras, that's uh, a common problem uh, because of my lighting. Um, I have LED lights here in the shop, and like I said, as I understand, it's a, a common problem for these kind of cameras to have interference from that. So, I have used this camera quite a bit outside on a selfie stick, and I know it takes beautiful video when it's not inside here, so I don't think it's the camera's fault. Uh, but I'm going to have to try to figure out what to do. And I also have uh, even used the camera out here and turned the lights off and the wavy lines go away. But then, of course, the video is crummy because bad lighting. So uh, I've got another camera that I'm going to try. It's probably going to be in a, a video next week. Uh, I'll have to uh, do some programming and make a... Uh, different kind of mount to uh, to be able to hold it in. but hopefully I can get some good video out of that so uh, if this is your first time here watching and you want to follow along with what I do with my Abbott CNC as well as my Gat CNC be sure to subscribe and also hit that little bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a video and also if you've got any comments uh, please leave them below uh, I'd like to know uh, what your opinion is on whether you like the view better when I had this thing turned over and it, with the camera angle was up a little higher or if it's down like this, which one you thought was better. So if you would, leave your comments about that and any other comments you might have down below. 
Uh, and other than that, I guess that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.